Good morning, everyone. Um, right, we're coming towards the end of June now. Um, we haven't had rain for about a month, um, but it's forecast for thunderstorms and heavy rain today. So, today I'm going to work on this front border. Um, and I think what's happened in the dry weather, particularly, is that this plant here, valerian, loves these conditions. The soil here is very rubbly, very poor, um, and this is west facing, so very sunny. And personally, I think it just, this front border has gone from being well in control and beautiful, full of wallflowers and everything, to looking very overgrown and whereas the other plants are struggling and getting buried by this this is just taking over so I'm going to be working on this border I'm going to take out the valerian because if you have a look here you can see it's just a thug the poppies are dead the valerian is um, obscuring all the lovely um, sedums there. It's just looking very tired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up on my tripod um, and then I'll work along the border and then I'll just speed it up. So that's what I'm going to do today. Oh, and you can also see how parched this grass is um, so yes we are well in need in the northeast of England of some rain um, the other thing that will happen is if we get really heavy rain is that all these plants the daisies everything will just be they'll just come down over the path getting everybody's way this is um, wallflower here you can see completely finished full of beautiful seed pods which i will collect those um right so i'll get on with it
So there we go. Um, I'm not sure how long that's taken me. Probably about an hour and a half, but I think it looks a lot fresher. Yeah. Um, there's just room in there for air to circulate. I mean, this is how it's sort of drowned out. The plants have got that with a, that's a little lavender in there. But anywho. Our camellia mollus is still looking lovely and fresh. I've got a nice open space here. So I'm thinking um, I bought some osteosperm the other day at the garden centre. Um, a sort of tribute to um, a turkey. So I know that osteosperm are going to love it in this border. They don't mind being hot and dry. Oh, just a little detour. I must show you this. Um, climbing hydrangea isn't he beautiful gorgeous he was uh, there's actually two in there a gift from my late father-in-law and my sister it's been in there since 2008 so I've got a nice big gap here as well and all these daisies are going to open up the sedum there, at least we can see him now. More, more space. And you might have seen me pulling out all the campanula. Um, and I know for a fact he's gonna come back, um, as will that valerian. But it'll be shorter, more compact. Nice big gap there for something. Maybe, um, maybe the osteosperm in there as well. So this is a, a casualty of that huge aqualegia that I dug out. Um, I've got some beautiful sweet William that I grew from seed. Um, loving the colour of this grass in amongst that and the sweet William. Right, we just need to find a gap for that um, osteosperm. I'm thinking maybe there, I don't know. No, maybe there. And then I'll have dark purple. And you know what, I'm gonna buy more, more osteosperm. I'm definitely gonna have one on the corner there, so I'll, I shall go and get them. Right, these are the plants that I've got. So I've got two of these osteosperm and then I've got some of this plant which I know grows really big and bushy but it loves the sun. And I did plant a lavender here. I'm not going to dig him out. I'm just going to put the osteosperm there and he should spill out but much lower than that uh, valerian. And then I think I'll put one of these plants there just to sort of balance that lightness out I'm so warm right like I say I'm gonna get small osteosperm but I, I'm thinking I'm gonna put him there nice pop of color and then I'll get another one for there right get these in Actually, you know what? I'm not going to plant it there because I've just seen um, something come in. I've got this growing here, which I can't even remember what it is now. Um, I think it's Veronica. It might be, and there's also what looks like a Rebecca or something there. So I don't want to put a huge osteosperm here because it'll, it'll go up here, I know it will, and it'll drown him out. Okay, so we'll come. Okay, so we'll come up here. Right, I'll put this one in.
right. Give these a nice drink. Because even though these plants will tolerate drought, and that's why I'm putting them here, when, you know, they do need a good drink when you first put them in. And wet the soil all around them as well. See, this is on a wonk as well. I'm losing the water there anyway. So you've seen me do all the, the hard work at the front. So now I thought you deserve to see something very pretty. These are the climbing roses that spill over the outside of of my wall. Aren't they gorgeous? They smell beautiful. And then also opening today are these beautiful geraniums. I'll give you a view of the garden of them. This is this is what I see when I come up the drive. Beautiful. So these beautiful iris have started to open. Um, I'm not sure what they're called. We used to have a little sort of tub buried in the garden. It was a little pond. And these were the pond plants that were in it. Get rid of this weed. Um, and then I took the, the tub out um, because it just got choked with weed. But the iris have still stayed. I think they were sort of the marginal plants. Gorgeous. Oh, and my rose, Rachel it's called, is just flowering its little heart out. There's one that's finished. Dead head in. Down to, where's my dead head down to? There. Another iris, and then I've got a beautiful poppy. Look at these in that. I just love it. Quick video of my beautiful Dalsiniums. He needs staking up. That one at the back's just sort of flopped into the Cosmia. So he's looking great. And then this beautiful peony. Isn't he lovely? And the loose stripes starting to open up as well there. So that's it everyone, um, that's a good morning's work. I think I deserve a cup of tea and some breakfast now. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, please, if you could subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.